Hello, my name is Cole Palmer and I'll be talking about how as a member of the Monarch Service Project that was in charge of going out on the field and studying uh, pollinating insects uh, in Bryan, Texas. As stated, I am Cole Palmer and people in my group are Luke Childress, Emily Craig, Cameron Grubbs, Akira Imam, Margaret Jarding, Lance Long, Colin McNamar, Marshall Miller, and Adon Salinas. And um, all I can say is that my group members were fantastic. You know, we, we planned this for, for a while in the group message board. Uh, and a lot of us share the same passions for insects as uh, a lot of people in this group. And uh, when we went out there, we were all excited uh, to get out there, take some pictures, uh, study some of these fascinating um pollinating insects you know and uh, went out there and this was one of my favorite little guys as you can see he's got the yellow yellow body and the black dots uh, kinda, he kinda looks like a ladybug but he's yellow and uh, he was real pretty he's on this pretty uh, purple flower that were lining the, the highway where we were at and um, he was just real fun. There was a bunch of those little guys out there on the field. And um, he was great. And then here we have um, kind of a variation. Um, I tried to look him up, but I, he looks like a gra like some sort of type of grasshopper. It's another kind of better picture of him. Uh, there were a few other guys out there. Again, they love these, seem to love these purple flowers. But, I mean, who doesn't? They're beautiful. Beautiful Texas flowers, and um, yeah, who who couldn't resist some beautiful, you know, purple flowers? Who wouldn't want to pollinate that? You know, um, one of my favorite little guys. He was a little beetle on this lone yellow flower, kind of away from the whole group. He was just kind of chilling. He seemed like he wanted his own personal space in the matter. He didn't want any of those purple flowers. He was kind of he just kind of wanted to be by himself, which I kind of get, and this is him. Just another kind of close-up picture of him. Um, now, here was uh, my favorite. He was this kind of hard to see in this picture. He's on the kind of the bottom of this pink flower, and he's a, he's a bumblebee, and uh, which is probably the, one of the most famous pollinating insects. And he's, he's big on um. Many people have heard the phrase, busy bee. And um, this what that's what he was when I was out there because he was just bouncing around, left, right, flower, flower, flower. Got a short attention span. He's probably got a queen. He's got to take care of a queen bee. He's got to take care of. So yeah, he was he was by far the most difficult to catch a good picture of. So this picture isn't the best. But um, I was hoping that you know that he could. Uh, that he could sit still for just a second, but he just wouldn't. And this is a single white moth just hanging out in the field. I thought it was beautiful. You know, pure white, white as snow, really stood out. Um, and uh, he was a sweetheart. Let me take a few pictures of him. And I think everyone in my group had a blast coming out there. Um, so much so that I think a lot of us actually want to go out and um, and go out and do some more future research in this field and we want to go out um, you know we have future plans to meet up because you know like I stated earlier a lot of us have you know a real passion for insects I originally took this class you know just for the credit but since joining I've I've come to really appreciate insects more and more just in my everyday life. Um, unfortunately, some of my group members were able to take a picture of this beautiful butterfly I was flying around, but um, unfortunately I was not quick enough with my cell phone.